All right, everybody, come in, come in, come in. It's your girl Vanity here. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. And so there's some things we got to discuss today, you guys. Uh, it was quite an, a, an interesting weekend in boxing news and celebrity gossip, et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of it involves your girl Jocelyn, okay? So I'm assuming if you're here, you know who Jocelyn Hernandez is, okay? The Puerto Rican princess. She was on, and she was kind of discovered by Stevie J, which we all know who Stevie J is, womanizer extraordinaire, but they are both the stars or the previous stars of Love and Hip Hop, and that's how we were introduced to her, to her quick-witted, you know, um, comments. You know, she was hilarious, but she was also very controversial for the fact that she would be quick to put her hands on people. She was no nonsense. She didn't take anything, et cetera, et cetera. Mind you, this was back in 2011 or 12 when Love & Hip Hop Atlanta was first introduced to all of our TV screens. Since then, Jocelyn Hernandez is no longer on Love & Hip Hop, which is on VH1. And she has now created her own TV show called Jocelyn's uh, Cabaret, which is on the Zeus Network, which is also trash TV. So anyway, fast forward, you know, Jocelyn has been Jocelyn throughout the years causing stuff everywhere she goes, causing ruckus, leaving a trail of mess everywhere she goes. Jocelyn's Cabaret, which I kind of enjoy because, you know, if you like trash TV, just something you want to watch just to have a good time and just laugh, you know, all of the different, um, all the different shows on Zeus Network are for you. She has been on Jocelyn's Cabaret on the Zeus Network for a few years now. And there is a young lady, I believe her name is Big Lex. I have no idea who she is. I am old, you guys. I am not in the know of all the people. But Big Lex was on Jocelyn's Cabaret, you know, one of these past seasons. And so we're going to go fast forward to this past weekend. Floyd Mayweather had a fight that was, that was on Zeus Network. Side note, let me just say this, you guys. I am an avid boxing fan i grew up around boxing i love boxing i love floyd mayweather y'all i'm sweating excuse me shall but anyways if you see any little boobs sweat in this video please excuse it because i'm hot for some reason it's really really hot anyway um floyd mayweather which i'm really disappointed to see that he is now you know he's retired professionally but now he's doing these little rinky dink boxing matches on the zeus network and i just feel like floyd mayweather is the caliber of boxer that he is, he's so above all of this. He had a fight on the Zeus Network with one of the Gotti sons. Um, I'm confused about that too, because John, uh, the, the Gotti's are Italian. So I, I'm not, again, I'm not, I'm not as um, hip to some of these current boxers. So I'm not familiar with this young man. Nonetheless, he fought John Gotti the, or John Gotti Jr. or whatever this past uh, weekend. And the real fight was backstage, honey, because Jocelyn Hernandez was getting her life and acting an entire fool backstage. And, and, and she put the pause in the words of Lil Scrappy, she put the pause on Big Lex. Problem is, y'all, this young lady, Jocelyn Hernandez, who is not young, has got arrested. She has a whole mugshot looking like she just did a whole line of cocaine mixed with heroin, mixed with all of the different drugs that we don't have any business taking. Jocelyn looked terrible. But I mean, I guess what do you expect if it's going to be a mugshot? You're not going to be looking like Portia Williams in your mugshot, more than likely. Jocelyn got arrested, child. Four counts. And so I'm going to read them off to you. I took some notes. So I'm going to let you guys know exactly what Jocelyn was her arrested for. She is in jail right now. Jocelyn, don't drop the soap booze. So these are the four counts that she's in jail for right now. Okay, count number one, touching or striking battery and domestic violence. Count number two, a second battery charge, you guys, which I don't even know how you managed to get two battery charges. But Jocelyn, if there's, if there's any way to get two, Jocelyn was going to make sure she was the one to get it. Okay, so that's the second charge. Charge uh, number three, trespassing. So I don't know by trespassing, was it like she wasn't um, on the list to be backstage? So I'm not really quite sure because this just hit the street about her being arrested in these four charges. I'm not sure what the trespassing is all about, but I'm sure within these hours that are, you know, these upcoming hours of the day, we'll find out. So the trespassing charge is the third charge and charge number four is resisting an officer obstructing with violence. 
Jocelyn, you going down. And let me just say this because I am not a proponent of violence. I do recognize that sometimes things happen, you know, whatever, whatever. I'm not saying that in my whole entire life I've been a saint. But I feel like, Jocelyn, if, you are, if you're not 40, you are hitting 40. You're too old for this. You're too old, you're a businesswoman, you have business ventures, you have a TV show you, that you're executive producing, and you're still allowing yourself to be in these situations where you're poked and prodded and that you are going to jail for four charges? I mean, these are really, really serious. I don't see how, first of all, I don't see how she hasn't already done time because Jocelyn has had so many different fights, some of which we've seen, some we haven't seen. She was just literally last week on the blocks for fighting Amber Rose. So I, I this is what I would like to say regarding this. And I hate saying this, but I really feel like it's necessary. She's a terrible role model. Jocelyn has a child. That that little girl doesn't belong in her in her in her uh, possession or her custody. Now, the sad thing is that her other parent is Stevie J, who is almost equally as bad. I mean, he's not in trouble for actually, you know, domestic violence and putting his hands on people, but he's equally as a trash of a person as Jocelyn Hernandez. So what are y'all going to do about her daughter? Because this is not okay. And, um, you know, snitches get stitches, all of that. You know, I, that's not my business because I'm not the one that told. I didn't put her in jail, but I will say this that Jocelyn, you cannot continue down the wrong road. Like Portia said, you can't continue with this and think that you're just gonna get off scot-free. You're always fighting someone. You're always saying reckless and disgusting things to people. You're always in trouble. Now you're in trouble legally. This is the, the one that we know about. And you cannot be a mother and a good role model behaving this way. She has to learn her lesson. I think that they should throw the book at her. She should do at least three to six months in jail. Okay, and then what's the uh, resisting an officer obstructing with violence? I don't know if there's any t attorneys who are watching this video now. Can y'all drop down in the comments? Can you let us know what does that mean? Did she put her hands on a police officer? Like when the police officer was restraining her? Is that what that charge is? Because that's going to be the one that gets her. If Jocelyn put her hands on a police police officer, it's a wrap for Jocelyn. It's, it's, she's done. It, it's over. It's over for the, for her. So I'm wondering if that fourth charge is because she put her hands on a police officer who was trying to restrain her, possibly arrest her. You know, she might have. Jocelyn gives me she would try to like spit on a police officer that was trying to restrain her. That's what I get from Jocelyn. So I'm wondering out of these four charges, which one is going to stick? Because I don't see her. I mean, it's all on videotape. We saw it. It was bad, you guys. If you guys are into that type of thing. Not that I'm encouraging you to go rush and, and Google and look for the fight, but it's out there. I mean, all you gotta do is open up your phone and go to your nearest blog site. The fight is out there. So what I will say is that, yeah, like one of these four charges are gonna stick and I, it's not looking good for Jocelyn. But again, if this lends to the bigger picture of like, when are we going to stop this ridiculous violence, especially as black women? She's an Afro-Latina woman. She identifies as a black woman. When are we going to stop this ridiculous nonsense of fighting and being physical and not uplifting each other? And it's like, I feel like with Jocelyn, if over, over a decade of this and you are continuing with this behavior, it's not okay. You need to learn a lesson. It's, it's not cute. I'm not, I'm no longer entertained by Jocelyn. You know, it was funny. You know, some of her antics were funny on Love and Hip Hop. Cause you know, I just, I like a good read. I like the, you know, quick witted comment where, you know, you get back at someone and it's, but more as a funny way not like you're hurting someone with what you say deeply or like you're putting your hands on on someone that's kind of like where i draw the line and i'm not entertained by that i'm too old i'm not into that you know i want to laugh a little bit but that's that's pretty much it and i just feel like jocelyn you know this is probably good for her and she needs to learn her lesson and make some changes and somebody go get her daughter like where is she at stevie J? unfortunately that's all that she's working that your daughter is working with stevie go get your daughter and take care of her and you guys need to come up with a course of action because until jocelyn gets help and makes some changes that little girl doesn't have any business with her mom unfortunately that's just how i feel so i just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys about this and see what you guys think did you see the fight 
Do you agree with me? Do you think that Jocelyn needs to, you know, possibly do time in jail? Do you think that this is her karma for the years and years and years that she has terrorized all of reality TV? What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Please drop down in the comments and let me know. You know, I love conversing with all of you and talking about things and getting your opinion. Sometimes you guys say things in the comments that I didn't necessarily think of. So please, you know, comment below, okay? And so also I want to remind you, don't forget to like and subscribe, share this video with your friends, share my channel with your friends. I'm, I'm trying to continue to grow my channel and I'm always going to tell you guys how appreciative I am for you guys being here. And, you know, I just want to continue to get to know you guys and you guys get to know me. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your uh, week. I'm going to be, um, you know, continuing to watch all of this stuff with the Trump indictment that we will know more about tomorrow, Tuesday, the June 13th. So, you know, stick around, come back to my channel for some information on that. But again, you guys have an amazing rest of your Monday and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.